Hi, thank you for joining me for Pink Fresh Friday, which is a hop that is held on the fourth Friday of the month. Uh, Joanne Bartell hosts it. I'll list a the, I'll add the list of participants down below in the description box um, so you can see everybody else's video. And the premise is that we all use Pink Fresh Studio products and we can add some independent bits like Bramble Fox and JD3D and flare badges, but the bulk of the layout should be created using Pink Fresh, Fri uh, Pink Fresh products. So this layout, I've seen paper issues, I think it was on Instagram, had a scrap lift and it was a layout using this L shape with um, ink up behind the photos and I thought it would be a great opportunity to use my Pinkfresh Studio uh, combining both Simply the Best and... Um, Oh gosh, what's it called? Good times. So I've pulled out all the greens and blues from these collection and it's from last year in January when we went to Lime Park, which is a local National Trust property. And um, it's very rural and um, a lot of green and blue <laughs> in the photos you can see. So that's why I've chosen these colours. So I've swiped down my inks on the 12 by 12 paper and I'm just leaving those to dry a little bit because distress oxide inks don't dry down very quickly and you can smudge them if you're not careful. So I've used bundled sage is the green that I put down first and then iced spruce is the other colour, the more sort of grey green that I've got going on. And I've printed four photos. They're, um, they were printed three by four and then trimmed down to three by three. But that fountain one that I'm putting at the bottom there, I did actually trim down a little bit further on the side, just so that the fountain was in the middle of the photo. So I'm going through my papers that I pulled out now and straight away I see this little ticket that says together. So I thought that would be really nice to embellish my layout with. And then um, I also find these that I cut out from the 12 by 12 paper. So one that says explore and the other one that says today's stories and adventures. So I thought they would work really nicely on the layout as well. So I'm just playing about with positioning and then I pull out these wood pieces from um, Good Times and I see the circle one that says love and I think that will work really nicely. But before I stick that down, I think I really should start putting these photos down. So first of all, distressing the edges of the uh, pieces that I've cut out of the papers and then I'll get these photos stuck down so that I can carry on embellishing. Now to start with I'm using my Sticks 2 tape runner which I really enjoy but on the bottom photos it didn't seem to stick them that well and I'm wondering if it's because it was on the ink so I did have to go in with a little bit of wet glue as well just to secure those down. So I think if I'm putting it on mixed media I'll stick to my wet glue. So I'm just pulling that circle up now and I'm going to stick the other bits down first before adding that on. I really wanted to keep the shape of the L but somehow I can't cope with corners. <laughs> I've filled in this corner so it's more of a, a sweeping L rather than a, a strong L this because you'll see when I add these cards and tickets and things <laughs> it quickly loses its shape but I'm still really happy with the overall um, finished layout. It's I just laugh at myself that I always go in with an idea and see somebody else's layout and think it's gorgeous and want to emulate that and then <laughs> just go my own way anyway. But um, like I say, I am pleased with the finished layout. So I'm determined to get some of this uh, Pink Fresh Studio used up now because there are some gorgeous new collections that have just come out. I don't know whether you've seen them. There is a tourist one, um, a couple of florals and a sudden shine summer one so I've got my eye on those but I can't until I've used a bit more of this up so I think I'll probably combine these two collections now because they are starting to dwindle down and they do work really nicely together. So this Go Explore is a um, flare badge from Hey Little Magpie and so is the wood veneer cam the wood veneer camera there is from JD3D Print. So I'm just going to glue that down. It looks a bit odd at the moment because it looks like it's hanging out below everything else, but I will build some bits around it to make it fit in more. And this is also um, one of James's geotags from Wood. And now adding some of these mini chevrons, which I adore. If you've watched my channel for a while, you'll know that I really do love these mini wood chevrons. 
so I just wanted to build up that section at the bottom as I mentioned so these are some little scraps that I pulled out so I'm just creating a little fishtail banner which will run from that camera um, and just come a little bit further along from that Today Stories and Adventures ticket um, just to expand that line and stop that camera from looking like it's just been stuck there on its own. So just use my fingernails to rough up the edges of the, the fishtail banner there. So now gluing down these chevrons. And this layout really did come together very quickly. I think when you've got an idea of what you're going to do, it's so much easier, isn't it? <laughs> And um, hardly any pattern paper. Well, in fact, a lot of it's pattern paper, but it's um, I'm using them as journaling blocks and um, ephemera pieces rather than as photo mats. So these are the puffy stickers from Good Times. And I've used the one at the bottom that says Cozy Day next to that wood camera. And then um, this one says Memories. I will move that in a bit because I felt it wasn't quite right there. But for now, I've put that there. And I've also got that puffy leaf sticker that I've put above the love wooden circle. So I spied this um, tag or this end of a tag <laughs> on one of the scraps of paper and I thought that would be really nice to bring in. So I'm just going to punch the hole in it, rough up the edges and then tuck it under that top photo and it'll look like it's a complete tag once it's tucked under. So never discard anything because you just never know if you're going to be able to use it or not. I think that's why I struggle to use things up because I keep everything as you can see and use all the little bits and here again this is one of the scraps but I noticed this um, little card that says so much fun and again I thought that would be great and it's slightly cut off on the edge but all the words can still be read so I'm just going to add that as a little ticket at the bottom there and that fits nicely underneath that flare badge and just fills in that blank space down there. So just tucking the very edge underneath that photo and you'd never know it was um, cut off short. So now onto the 6 by 12 stickers. I think this is good times again. I'm just pulling some of these out. This one says soak it in and that works nicely. And here I am pulling that burgundy sticker off and I'm just going to pop it next to that circular wooden element. Unfortunately it did tear a little bit of the paper at the side so I'm just going to cover that with a label and another phrase sticker that says here and now and that's quite nice because that brings the burgundy in again over to that side so I do like that. Now coming in with my title and we're at Lime Park I have got another layout in my album of this day out so I don't need to add any journaling today so I'm just going to spell out Lime Park and you'll see um, I'll just switch to the end now you'll notice that Park I've had to use a capital R I've run out of lowercase. <laughs> so, um, next, this is one of the title pieces and it just says fresh air and I thought that would be really nice at the bottom there. I wanted to fill in the gap underneath the words Lime Park. I felt like um, it needed something next to those chevrons. So I pull out this epoxy flare that I'd made with one of the pattern papers, but it was too big and didn't work. But then I spotted a tiny little heart and that just works really nicely. It's really subtle. It's like a bluey grey colour and it just bridges that gap there. So add that there, but um, not wanting to leave that flare badge behind. I pop that next to the Go Explore flare up here and that works nicely there. So lots of circular elements going on per usual. And then I come in with my black Nouveau. Um, to add some dots around the page and as I'm doing that I realise that I haven't yet added my wax twine to the um, tag so <laughs> I have to dice with smudging my Nouveau to get that wax twine in now but um, I do manage so I've just pulled in a dark green and I'm just going to let it just trail down tucking it under that wooden love circle just to hold it in place and now I'm going to come in with some splatters and I've used my Distress Oxide in Rustic Wilderness for these splatters. So just covering up all the photos. And with hindsight, I kind of wish that I covered up some of that white space in the top right hand corner as well, because when I splatter, the splatters do carry up a little bit further than I'd wanted. You can see them just there. It's fine, but um, when you've got an idea of how you want things to go, it's just a little frustrating. But there you go. <laughs> Nothing's perfect, is it? And certainly my layouts aren't, so... I really don't mind too much. So the last thing to do now is to add the date 
So I'm just using my roller date stamp to add it to the bottom left hand corner. And that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. Please do check out everybody else's videos who's joining in on this fabulous hop and go and give them some love. And I shall see you again very soon. Thanks again. Bye.